Well, I just tried a little experiment with my uh, reeds that were a little bent out of shape. Heat gun. Flat on the workbench and just gently working the heat on them back and forth. I had obvious bent reeds that are now flattening out. I find this intriguing. I knew it isn't a regular plastic that these are made of, and I thought I would just try this because these are 80 some odd dollars for a set. Um, I know they can crack and break. Um, I'll put them back in the cage in a minute and see how they look, but so far it looks like this is working. Okay, so I'm heat gunning these uh, reed valves. One of the things I wanted to note about the Yamaha over the Kawasaki, the Kawasaki you can flip these. The Yamaha you can't because they've, they haven't, these screws aren't centered. So if you flip it, they don't line up. Your two middle ones won't line up if you flip it. Um, so I've heat gunned this thing. These were my bent reed valves. Like I said, it's not a normal plastic, um, but I got it to lay flat and I heat it till the oil on my bench started sweating through. So I know it's gotten pretty hot and it looks good. I'm going to bolt it down. I've got the one side in and you can see the one side looks really good now. It's, uh, there's no light coming through. You can't see the cracks coming through like this one that I haven't bolted. I'm going to bolt that. Right, I just want to show you my finished product. This is the uh, reed valves that were that had the washer through it. It was kind of bent out of the way. They did not get chipped. They did not get broken. But they did have that big piece of metal sticking through it. It had bent the uh, reed valve. I am... Uh, totally satisfied with those heat gun results so heat gun on a flat surface uh i kept heating it and i kept looking at it uh eye level like this and checking and checking it took me a while uh and i did have the heat gun on the high setting and just waving it around i am satisfied that those reeds will be fine uh, like I said, it's just not regular plastic because they have to take high heat from the engine. But the heat gun trick worked. That's going to save me 80 some odd dollars on the cost of this build. Just uh, because they weren't damaged. They're not chipped. They're not warped anymore. And that is, and just to prove to you that this is the other set. Let's see. Where did I set those other reed valves? Walk over here. I've set them somewhere. Here they are. Just to prove to you, I'm not lying about this. There's my other set. They're fine. So the heat gun trick worked. Uh, and I'm going to put it in like that. And I'm not going to feel one bit bad about that. And I don't think it's damaged the uh, properties of those reeds at all. Um, they're not yellow, they're not split, they're flush. So I'm calling that good and I'm going with it. And these are changeable, you know, in the ski anyway. They're not that hard to get to, but, but it is still a process. But that I'm going to call that good and go with it.